गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू अ न्यू रेंज यूएसए वीडियो सो चेक रेंज 0.12.2 हैज बीन रिलीज्ड इट इज द लेटेस्ट वर्जन सो इट फिक्सेस द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ जेल ब्रेकिंग आईओएस 14.3 और हायर ऑन A10 एंड A10X डिवाइसेस इट आल्सो फिक्सेस सम लॉन्च टाइमिंग्स सो द रिलायबिलिटी इज अ बिट हायर बट द नॉन इश्यूज as you can see if you are using a a7 device you will have to use either rain usb or you can use the mac version of check rain if you are using a windows computer you can use rain usb easily to jailbreak any device from a7 to a11 so if you are using a11 you have to skip a11 bpr check in check rains option and remove passcode and then the jailbreak will work so if you want to read you can read it but we are going to make this rain usb you need to download these files you will need the check rains rar file that is latest 0.12.2 you can find it in the link in the description next blana hatcher again in the description and lastly you will need this dmg of rain usb you will need transmac just to install check rain's new version into rain usb okay so you will find everything in the description i have made it very easy so let's run blana hatcher first of all run it as administrator So guys here it is i have connected my 2 gb usb flash drive you can use a larger one but a 2 gb minimum is required for this method to continue next click on select image if you are using amd you have to select the amd dmg and if you are using intel select the intel one you have both separate links for these two separate files all right so i will select intel now i will simply flash the file onto the usb the process can take about a minute or two so while it completes i want to tell you that we are going to jailbreak ios 14.4 so you can use the same process to jailbreak ios 14.3 and 12.5 it works flawlessly so let's move to the flashing process and let's wait until this process is 100% complete so guys when this step is complete you can safely close blana hatcher next launch transmac you can download transmac from the link in the description and run it as administrator so guys if you don't see your usb you have to just unplug it and then replug it after this after you replug it you must see rain usb boot here so everything is okay now just run transmac and you will see your usb right here click on rain usb applications and you will see this folder all right to run check rain 0.12.2 we will modify 0.9.6.app okay and then delete the contents of it okay we have deleted 0.9.6 contents now just right click here click on copy here select the file so this was the raw file that you have downloaded and you have extracted it all right now 
double click and you will find contents just copy and the contents of that folder will be copied to 0.9.6 dot app so guys all done everything is done now now simply just restart the computer and then go to the boot manager and I will show you rest of the steps stay tuned so guys after restarting your computer go to the boot menu or your boot manager by pressing F9 for HP and F12 for a Dell PC if you are using a different computer you can search Google on how to enter the boot manager or your boot menu so now you will see your USB you will be given two options one is legacy mode and the second is the UEFI this RAIN USB will work on UEFI mode okay so let's try to run it just hit enter here and hit enter again you will see some text going on so guys please disable your fast boot and your scare boot for this to run properly if you don't you might see errors okay so let this process complete and I will see you at the language screen you will finally see this Apple logo and a loading bar and then you will see the rain USB is language screen just wait a second here so guys after the boot process is complete you will see this language screen so if your mouse is not working you can attach an external mouse a USB mouse or like this a wireless mouse it will work so just select your language and then hit next so we are in just click continue here now open utilities from up above terminal and type here six only okay only six and hit enter and you will see that check range latest version will load that is currently 0 0.12.2 so it is up and running now let us jailbreak our phone so as you can see I am on 14.4 currently if you are jailbreaking 14.4 you will see this message if you are jailbreaking 14.3 you may not see this message because 14.3 is officially supported but if you are jailbreaking 14.4 what you, you have to do you can see that it says that 14.4 is not supported so you will just go to options here and select allow untested versions okay here is my device so if you are using iPhone 8 or 10 you have to skip a11 BPR check so I am NOT using 8 or 10 I am using SE so I don't need to skip this now click back here start click on ok again next the device will go into recovery now so we will enter TFU so we have entered DFU successfully guys this can take a while
okay we have booted and you can see check in says all done so i find rain usb very much reliable than the linux version or the linux usb version so it's your choice but this version is better so you will see the check in loader in no time now sometimes it takes some time to appear and sometimes it appears right away okay so here we go check in loader is here if you open you can install so when you have completed this step you want to go back to windows you will just click this apple icon here up above and click to restart and now just remove the usb that you have been using so guys just like that you will be back on windows if you want to fix your usb using my software in just one click you can see the link in the description so guys if you still want to ask something you can ask in the comments and thanks a lot guys for watching this video until the end i will see you in another video until next time see you